Time to get started on that one. Okay. Let this little guy's legs forward. All right. We'll get started with pectoral girdle. We have a clavicle. Okay, this should be almost a no-brainer. Sternal end. A crummy end. Scapula. Should be able to tell right and left. Pretty much look where the spine is pointing. Whether it's right or left scapula. Um, parts of the scapula. There's a spine. Right here. Spine and scapula. Parts that we care about on the spine. Right here where it attaches to the clavicle. The chromion. Back from it. Crocoid process. It makes a space. This is the glenoid cavity. Notice the humerus works in the glenoid cavity. Um, let's see. Next one, glenoid cavity. Okay. Subscapular fossa. Right there. It's this bowl shaped thing at the bottom of the scapula. All right, now we're going to focus the next two on the fossas above and below the spine. Supraspinous fossa is above the spine. Infraspinous fossa is below the spine. So, that should be the scapula. On to the upper limb. We got a humerus. Um, parts of the humerus. Right up here, the head. The surgical neck. The surgical neck is right here. Okay, if you're going to bust it, it's probably going to bust right there. Um, let's see, the shaft. Deltoid tuberosity. Notice where it gets fat here. That's where deltoids attach. Deltoid tuberosity. Okay. Lateral, medial epicondyles. Inside, outside, epicondyles. Um... Capitulum. Okay. We sit there and we go. Right. Just make sure I have the right one. All right. Just getting my bearings. Capitulum, right there. Radial fossa is right above it. Make sure I don't lose my space on my list. Okay. Um, let's see. Trochlea. Right here, gap on the bottom. And then we have, let's see, coronoid fossa. Coronoid fossa is right there. The coronoid process goes into coronoid fossa. And lastly, the olecranon fossa right back there. It's that big hole there. That's our humerus. Which, of course, gets us down to the... Um, well, we'll continue. We'll go on to the ulna. Because the ulnas. We'll do the ulna. Here's our ulna. Okay. First thing on the ulna. Trochlear notch. That huge C-shaped thing. If we turn it here. See the big C? Okay. Trochlear notch. Olecranon is the top part. Goes into the olecranon fossa. And then we have the coronoid process, which is this process here. It goes into the coronoid fossa. And then we have radial notch. It's the little notch where the radius here connects. Can you zoom in on that? It's that little notch in there. And then lastly, styloid process. See this little part that looks like a pen, like you write with it, styloid process. All right, that's the only Radius, good news, radius is pretty easy. Radial head, we have the um, styloid process right here, where you could use it as a pen too, you notice it's got that little point. And then the ulnar notch, where the ulna goes into. All right, and then we're on to carpals. Carpals. 
We have metacarpals. Then we have phalanges. Now the phalanges, we count, we count the digits like this. One, two, three, four, five. Start with the thumb, work out. One, two, three, four, five. Now, on the phalanges, you should be able to identify that this is the proximal phalanx, this is the medial phalanx, this is the distal phalanx. Note on this one, proximal distal. There's no medial. And if we can pause right there for a minute, 